Now turning to the son of Mexican drug lord El Chapo, extradited to the U.S. on drug trafficking charges. ABC's Phil Lipoff has more on what it took to get him here. Overnight, Ovidio Guzman Lopez, son of notorious drug lord El Chapo, arriving on U.S. soil after being extradited from Mexico on drug trafficking charges. Guzman Lopez was flown to Chicago, but is facing charges in multiple cities, including New York and Washington, D.C. Attorney General Merrick Garland releasing a statement saying this action is the most recent step in the Justice Department's effort to attack every aspect of the cartel's operations. The 33-year-old was captured by Mexican armed forces in January of this year and was wanted by U.S. officials since 2019. According to the charges, the cartel used chemicals shipped from China, which police say fueled the fentanyl crisis plaguing the U.S. His arrest set off a series of violent attacks between Mexican police and retaliating cartel members. Guzman Lopez's father, El Chapo, is serving a life sentence in the U.S. for multiple large-scale drug charges, murder conspiracy, and money laundering. And in a busy week for the El Chapo family, El Chapo's wife, Emma, was released this week from federal custody after serving nearly two years of her three-year sentence, convicted of helping her husband run the drug cartel. And law enforcement sources tell us Guzman Lopez will make an initial appearance in court Monday. Gio? All right, and we'll be watching. Phil, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.